मॉड्यूल नाइन द फ्यूजीवारा पीरियड और लेट हियान पीरियड डेटेड टू 894 टू 1186 आई डॉक्टर रीता प्रताप फॉर्मर हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ राजस्थान जयपुर आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन जापानीज आर्ट द फ्यूजीवारा पीरियड और लेट हियान पीरियड डेटेड to 894 to 1186 the breakdown of the government controlled land system opened up new areas to private ownerships known as shoin as by the end of 9th century shotoku's bureaucracy of the merotes had virtually vanished the emperor's function was merely to preside over state rituals and the actual power went into the hands of the regent shesho and chancellor kampaku from the mid 9th century onwards japan was ruled by powerful fujiwara clan who strengthened their position by regularly marrying their daughters into the imperial family Late Heian culture was center of the capital and dominated by Fujiwara family. The Phoenix Hall. The regent Fujiwara Yori Michi, 994 to 1074, demonstrated his power and influence by converting his residence into a copy of Pure Land Paradise itself. as represented in the taima mandala imported from china in the late 9th century outside kyoto the acquisite park in yuji is a perfect setting for the biodin his private chapel completed in 1053 this had a harmonious fusion of religion fervor and aristocratic splendor of the age fujiwara yorimichi's master sculptor was josho whose father kosho had worked for yorimichi's father fujiwara no mishinaga who was from 966 to 1027 yorimichi employed josho to make buddha Work on the statue was carried out in the family workshop in Kyoto. Though Josho's 30 years of work are found documented, but the only sculpture remaining today is the Amida in the Phoenix Hall. Josho died within 4 years of the completion of this work. He was greatly honored receiving the highest rank hogen normally bestowed only to members of the clergy the conversion of fujiwara estate into biodin pure land paradise both introduced and consolidated several aspects of japanization its main building the phoenix hall or hohodo for example is not of colossal proportion but is built on human scale at once enveloping the amida figure achieving characteristic fujiwara clarity and clearness the amida hall today called the phoenix hall because of the phoenix's crowning the rooftop was built on a small island in the middle of an artificial lake this building owes its name to the pair of bronze phoenixes on the roof ridge ends originally a fujiwara villa many elements of its design derived from secular palace pavilions it was converted into a monastery in 1053 the central image of amida 
of gilded and lacquered joined wood blocks is 2.5 meters high and is seated on a golden lotus in dhyana mudra of concentration or absorption it is considered as joshu's masterpiece its proportion are those of the perfect human ideal the rounded head poised on a graceful neck is balanced by gently sloping shoulders and softly articulated knees amita by joshu dated to 1053 gilded wood phoenix hall of biodin in uji kyoto prefecture japan belonging to late heian period is a good example on entering the phoenix hall the visitor's gaze is immediately drawn to the shining amida and then upward to the dazzling open work canopy which is gilded lacquered and inlaid with mother of pearl besides this a beautiful example is of an angel from wall of hodo phoenix hall gilded wood biodo in uji kyoto prefecture japan belonging to late heian period 11th century the little music playing angels scene close up shows elegance charm that is extremely courtly the entire ceiling consists of elaborately painted latest woodwork behind the amida is a flame like golden aureole adorned with flying apsaras in worshipful attitudes the fujiwara interest in amida can be seen in many amida halls they built few however survive today such halls were square and often larger than 3 by 3 base or about 5 by 5 meters 16 by 16 feet they erected over 30 halls to install images symbolizing the nine states of amida the interest in these stemmed from the writings of a 10th century tendai work ryogen the birth of the nine classes of believers in amida's paradise was the literary base for the development murals the interior surfaces of phoenix hall were richly painted excluding the plastered area the upper part of the paintings is reasonably visible five large wooden doors and the four walls display splendors of the buddha's events on the walls murals show the western pure land paradise in four seasons with descending amida rago and attendants coming to receive the soul of the faithful on the south door is a particularly striking rago image of the amida and the celestial host it is a detail from a phoenix hall mural colors on wood dated to 1053 it shows amida gazing down at an unseen soul in the lower right of the paintings his hands are in a mudra of welcome the right thumb and four finger joined and the hand raised up while the open left hand is extended downwards towards the dying believer the mural depicts not only a host of celestial being playing musical instruments and monks absorbed in prayer but also a new element reflecting national taste japan's rural landscape the serene low lying hillocks and meandering streams of yamato the reassuring familiarity and ethereal clarity of these images suitable the new nembutsu amids practice far better than the complexity of the earlier shingon school 
Above the murals, over the whitewashed upper register of the walls, the celestial figures on clouds are in this new style, but maybe a later modification. The walls are decorated with 52 wooden figures, monks or bodhisattvas floating on clouds or descend on clouds. In high relief, they are dancing, playing musical instruments and praying. The great variety of mid-11th century sculptural techniques is clearly visible as only small traces of gilt and paint remain. The most advanced technique is used for the central figure of Amida. Single block sculptures of great size has been found to split, wrap and crack. Even if the core had been hallowed, Joshua and his craftsmen prevented this by revolutionary Yosegi and Vari Hagi techniques where the main block was cut into front and back halves, hollowed and rejoined for carving. Additional pieces were added to the sides, back and front where necessary. These techniques ensured strength and stability and were favored throughout the Kamakura period. They also enabled Josho and his workshop to mass produce Buddhist sculpture in assembly-like fashion. The school prospered and one branch later moved to Nara where it produced the Kai school of sculptors in the Kamakura period, most of which are seated angelic bodhisattvas. Half are musicians and a small number wear monk robes. Some nine are of one piece of wood and others have several joined parts. Amida Hall of Hokkaiji, a larger than average one, is the Amida Hall of the Hokkaiji, not from Yuji, southeast of Kyoto. As an elaboration of the basic type, a pyramidal roof of thatch is surmounted by roofs over extended porches, hisiyashi, the building walls consisting of hinged lattice panels. The Hokkaiji has well-preserved pillar paintings in roundlets representing celestial beings and transom paintings and single somewhat conventionalized Buddha seated in splendid isolation. Despite some rebuilding in the early Kamakura period, the fundamental form of late Hian as are the paintings and sculpture. In 1343, a fire gutted the temple. However, the successive patrons added only a replacement of pagoda, which had been dismantled from a city temple and rebuilt here in 1178. It fits a location across the pond from the Amida Hall. In this respect, the Joryuji may also be the only temple to retain its original Amida Hall, Middle Island, Pagoda relationship with regard to the pond. In the late Hian period, art becomes more refined, decorative and aristocratic. In this period, court life became acquisitely refined. It is a period of great poets and of the earliest Japanese novel, The Tale of Genji by Lady Murasaki. This new ethos, highly aesthetic, self-conscious, almost overly subtle, is reflected in the painting and sculpture of the period. Late Hian religious art. In the Fujiwara period, the painting of Buddhist icons continued in the earliest time, particularly in representations of the terrible aspects of deity, such as Dai Itoku Mayo. 
He was one of the five wisdom kings, Mayo, fearsome historic deities introduced into Japan by the Shingon and Tendai sects and worshipped as manifestations of the supreme Buddha's holy wrath against ignorance and illusion. Dai Itoku Mayo is portrayed by the early Fujiwara artist much as he had been during the Jogan period. A large scale figure filling the entire silk to the edges of the frame, Dai Itoku Mayo, ink, color and gold leaf on silk, Japan belonging to mid Heian period and at present in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston. Iconic art is traditionally conservated because the magic that in the minds of most believers resides in the image may not work if the image is not accurate, that is like earlier proven images. Thus the simple monumental style based upon Tang Chinese painting and continued in the one or two remaining fragments of the Jogan period is maintained in the late Heian period. Pari Nirvan of the Buddha dated to 1086 color on silk Kono Gobu Ji Koyasan Wakeyama Prefecture Japan belonging to late Heian period. A very large hanging scroll at Koyasan the painting is beautifully preserved and presents a veritable kaleidoscope of soft greenish yellow pale oranges greens blue mild reds and numerous touches of gold the painting incorporates both jogan survivals and important changes in the fujiwara period the buddha represented completely in gold lies on a dais with his head resting on a lotus pillow. Around the dais are many bodhisattvas, disciples and followers of the Buddha who have come to mourn the great event, even including some grieving animals at the edges of the composition. The setting is a placid landscape of decorative Tang dynasty type with flowering trees reaching to the sky where the Buddha's mother queen Maya appears to witness the final extinction of her son. The composition also follows Tang style by occupying a completely defined stage like space. Foliage and cloud finish the picture. The representation of the figures is extraordinary, particularly in its hierarchical revelation of psychological states. As a mark of reverence, the Buddha is shown in gold, as are the Bodhisattvas, while the lesser members of the Buddhist hierarchy, the disciples and of course the animals are shown in color only. The psychological states to correspond to this order, the Buddha and the Bodhisattvas are impassive. Their eyes closed or almost closed. The disciples on the other hand mourn, pray, weep or even cry out looking at the sky. Their faces contorted by grief. Even the figures of the guardian kings of the four directions show realistically observed emotion. One guardian at the lower left shields his eyes with a hand covered by his sleeve. And the guardian on the right is in the same state, his teeth bared in mask of sorrow. So also are the animals. At the lower right, a lion, presumably the vehicle of Bodhisattva Manjushri, rolls on his back with his legs in the air in grief. Thus, 
the combination of space, color and pattern with a unified psychological progression from sublime calm to extreme emotionalism produces a masterpiece of Buddhist painting. A favorite theme of the new sects was the Raigo or welcoming approach of Amitabh Buddha. It is a subject which first appeared in Japanese art in about 1053 CE on the doors of the Phoenix Hall. Earlier, Raigo are oriented toward spectator as if he were dying person as in the great Raigo Tirupich at Koyasan. Here, the large figure of Amida accompanied by a retinue of angels, bodhisattvas and monks born on clouds faces and moves towards the spectator. Their motion is indicated by the perspective of the clouds as they rise and recede to the left and top of the central panel. The celestial musicians are particularly interesting. They are shown in poses observed from nature, dancing or playing their instruments and puffing our cheeks as they blew into more difficult wind instrument. The figures reveal a marked development of decorative detail, color and realism. The development of realism in the Raiko can perhaps be best seen in a small and wickedly humorous sketch in the painting Amida Kochoho dated to 1000 146 CE. It is a drawing, ink on paper and belonging to late Heian period and at present in the Ishikawa Prefecture Art Museum, Kyushu. It is a monochrome satirical representation of Amida Kochoho, Amida who summons to a higher plane, pulling an unwilling soul toward him by a string around the neck. Though stretched close to the end of the Fujiwara period, but it is executed in conservative style using thin wire-like line. Another work comparable to the Parinirvan, not only in subject matter, but in quality. A most unusual representation of the re surrected Buddha preaching to his mother, Queen Maya, who is just to the left of the dais. It seems that this hanging scroll might almost be by an artist trained in the studio that produced the Pari Nirvana. Here, the Buddha's aureole or halo is dotted with representations of other Buddhas. In these two paintings, a new interest in psychological characterization and in the decorative use of color is seen. Two masterpieces of Fujiwara Buddhist painting. The appeal of Fujiwara Buddhist art was often to the eye and emotions rather than to the mind. Like the literature of the time, it expresses sentiments of the greatest delicacy in a language of extraordinary refinement. But it seldom plumps the depths of religious experience. The supreme example of this emotional aesthetism is in the large sick panel of the Nirvana of Buddha dated 1086 and preserved on Mount Koya, a composition too rich detail to reproduce satisfactorily in color. The Shaka Nayo Rai from the Jingoji, Kyoto, painted by an anonymous painter. It is a banner detail belonging to 12th century, colors on silk and at present in Kyoto, Japan, Jingoji. It has been chosen 
as equally typical of the period. Shakyamuni is here represented preaching from a high throne, clad in richly colored robes made the most splendid by the use of kirekane, a web of cut gold leaf over the ground color. The drawing is delicate, modeling be suggested by barely perceptible shading. Even the band of light radiating from Shakyamuni's halo is set with flowers in gold, a typical Fujiwara extravagance. The total effect of this gorgeous banner is rather of some glittering jewel than of a religious icon, religious portraits. In ancient Japan, portrait painting in Western sense was unknown. Such portraits as had been imported from China, as for example, the famous set of five banners of Patriarch of the Shingon sect by the Tang artist Li Chen were more than mere likeness of individuals. They were attempts to express the spiritual power of great religious leaders deep in meditation or engaged in lively theological dispute. The influence of these Chinese models can be seen in the vivid portraits by the Japanese artist of Kobo Deshi's teacher, the priest Genzo, who died in 827. Painted by anonymous painter, portrait of the Shingon patriarch Genzo. It is a hanging scroll dated to 11th century, ink and colors on silk, and at present in the Wakayama Mount Koya Fumon in collection. Although this picture is an 11th century copy, it reproduces the style of the 9th century original quite faithfully. In portraits of later Fujiwara period, this intensity of feeling was replaced by the same combination of decorative splendor and spiritual emptiness that marked the Shaka Nayorai. An example is of a Shaka Nayorai by anonymous painter. It is a banner detail belonging to 12th century, color on silk and at present in Kyoto, Japan, Jingoji. The red-lobed Shaka Nayorai Shakyamuni of the Jingoji Kyoto is prized for the beauty of its colors, above all for the peculiar brightness of the red robe. Seated on a richly decorated seven-story pedestal, the Buddha makes the gesture of the preacher. The golden glow of his two ink aureoles is patterned with flower designs. In a more schematic form executed in Kirikane, flower designs sparkle on his robe. The bright yellow body shows no traces of modeling. The flat flesh tints which convey no sense of actual life are harmoniously played off against the delicate colors of the costume and the pedestal. The effect they produce is that of an almost purely abstract beauty. Another monumental work also of the 11th century is the portrait of Jion Dashi. Kui Chi. It is a hanging scroll, colors on silk, dated to 11th century in the collection of Yakushiji Nara. He was a Chinese monk, highly venerated in the Tang Shung period as the founder of the Hoso sect in Japan. From the 10th century on, 
homage was paid to his memory each year in a ceremony held in the great temples of the sect at Nara. The portrait whose composition is based on a Chinese original well conveys the spiritual vigor of the great monk, whose attitude suggests that he is engaged in some theological discussion. The sumptuous patriarchal costume, the handling of the body with its pink modeling, the beautifully decorated inkstone beside him. All these are a detailed characteristics of the Tang tradition. At the same time, the harmonious light toned colors reflect the Japanese taste of the 11th century. More appealing and warm feeling for nature pervading Japanese Buddhist painting is apparent in the series of panels of 11th century works are the pictures of 16 Rakan, 16 disciples of Buddha, Buddhist saint from Raigoji at Shiga, now in National Museum, Tokyo. At the Buddha's request, the 16 Rakan consented to remain in the world in order to protect and uphold the Buddhist law. An example is of a Naga Sena, one of the 16 disciples of Buddha, Juro Kura Khan, painting belonging to 11th century, hanging scrub, painting on silk from the Raigoji Shiga and at present in the National Museum, Tokyo. Naga Sena, who symbolizes mercy, lived in the mountains in the company of birds and animals. In this charming picture of him, he is seated amidst flowering trees. He is shown feeding a stag from his arm's bow. The composition, though no doubt of Chinese origin, is already very much in the Japanese manner. Whereas Chinese painting figure of the disciple often assumes strange shapes. Here it is entirely natural and mild mannered. Much more heretic is a figure of another Rakan in Sanskrit Arhat, Nakura, Nakula, one of the 16 disciples of Buddha, Juroku Rakan late 11th century, a hanging scroll painting on silk from Raigoji, Shiga National Museum, Tokyo. A symbol of divine power shown with his two demon acolytes. Bamboo and tree in bloom, however, add an appealing note of intimacy to the picture. Judging both by the style of the painting and the writing in the cartridges, this series of work can plausibly assigned to late 11th century. Here, the faces of the disciples are treated in a naturalistic manner, reminiscent of the portraits of the period.